Hello, I'm Lee Carter in the Industrial Network and Cybersecurity Product Manager here at Solutions PT. In this short video, I'll show you some of the features of the Clarity platform. Today, we'll be focusing on access and showing you how Clarity's secure remote access provides safe and monitored connections. Let's take a closer look. Access is established using a suitable HTML5 web browser, such as Chrome. Once you've entered your username, password, and optional two-factor authentication token, access is granted. Access to the SRA platform provides a protocol break that proxies the initial connection between the guest and the host network, so there's layers of isolation and no direct connection for the hosted network and the device being managed. Here, in the dashboard, we can see active and pending sessions. Active sessions are sessions that are connected currently, while pending sessions are ones where users can request access. This access can be time limited. This is ideal for providing ad hoc access on a temporary basis or enforcing segregation of duties. In the sessions menu, we can see a list of recorded connections providing details of the tasks that were undertaken. These can be exported. We can also view video footage of the connected sessions to establish what the user was doing whilst they were connected. In server management, new connections can be created through server manager it also shows existing connections that are available. So starting a new server, we can add a name, attach it to a site. We can add on protocols for remote connections, RDP, SSH, VNC, and web connections. We can also provide passwords here, so they're hidden away from the user, providing a password vault function. We can also limit the connections so they're only accessible through certain times of the day. We can also make the session timeout after a certain period of time. In files, here we can upload binaries and data blobs for imports into the operational network. This function is ideal for suppliers and maintainers who need to import data into the operational network. This places it into a holding area until the OT engineers can ensure that the data is scanned and safe. To upload data, you click on the file upload. Some of the additional features, you can add it to different sites in your industrial network, or you can share the file with others. Inside of user management, here's where we manage users. We can add a new user quite simply. We need a username, a password, and an email address. We can define the roles that the user will have, enforce two-factor authentication, allow or deny secure file transfer, and we can restrict the account so it's only able to log on for a certain period of time. Inside of groups, we can apply permissions based on a set of users. So for one of these groups here, we can enable or disable video recording. Moving on to activities. Here, this provides details of all the user and administrative functions that have happened upon the platform. Inside of system management, here we can configure some of the global parameters, such as mail configuration, security parameters, such as password expiration, exporting data to a syslog server, or configuring session data such as retention periods and recording quotas. Finally, we've got a disconnect session, which terminates all sessions immediately. Clarity Secure Remote Access allows you to take back control of your assets. You can define when people have access, for how long, and when that should be terminated. You can also share files and also have an audit trail for compliance purposes.